What's up, doers? So on today's episode, we are going to show you how to build a pretty easy, pretty simple Enderman XP grinder. Now, in this chest here are the items that you are going to need. So you are going to need, per usual, nine hoppers and nine carpets, two chests, six trap doors, about a half stack of leaves, um, 14 builder blocks. Now, you could use end stone because we are here in the end if you want to. Um, 28 fence gates for sure two water sources and then bring some extra buckets if you want to um, a name tag th uh, two rails a mine cart and then three stacks of ender pearls these should be easy to get to as well because we are in the end and then alternatively you want to bring or grab 32 more builder blocks like I said some extra buckets and then two more uh, trap doors Okay, so let's get into the build. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is come over here to where the end portal is. And now you want to clear out all of this high ground if it is possible. Okay. Um, it could take some time, but what you, what you want to do is you want to have a nice flat surface up here for your... Um, in order to do this build okay so after you've done that and you've cleared this area what you want to do is come here in front of the portal and build yourself up a two high wall all the way around it now if your portal is one down so you know it's one down on the ground you only need to do one high but for our purposes because it is even with all of the ground here we are going to do a two high wall Okay, once you have that done, pick a side, it doesn't matter which side, but make sure it's on the 3 by side here, and dig yourself down a uh, 3 by 2 pit that is 4 blocks deep into the ground. So there's 4 there, let's just keep going. Okay, once you've done that, what you want to do is dig yourself a little um, 6 by 2 area here. Build yourself a little room anyways to work from. And then dig yourself a little tunnel to get out all the way onto the other side. So usually it's about 13 blocks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we'll do another 7 blocks this direction. Then dig yourself a set of stairs all the way up to the surface here. As you can see there, I am out and free. Next, what you want to do is come back to your little area over here where you dug the pit and grab your trap doors and place six of them down in this pattern here. So three on each side. Okay. And then drop back down into your hole again. And what you're going to do next is take your two um, chests and place them down just on the inside of the pit like that. And then grab your hoppers all of your hoppers into each other and then going into the chest there and then once you've done that place your carpet down on top of your hoppers once you've done that you want to head back up to the surface here take your fence gates that you came with and place one on each side just like that you can open them if you want to and then you want to place them in a pattern around the entire portal here, leaving a one block space all the way around. So we're going to want to put another one here, here like that, and then out here like this. See, it goes all the way around. You want to make sure that you open them as well too. Okay, and once you're done, you should have something that looks like this. With a nice little one gap all the way around it. Want your trap doors right here to be butted up right up against it. So that way um, it blocks what uh, we are going to do next. Okay, so once you've done that, what you want to do is you just want to come over here somewhere and dig yourself a nice little three by trench. And then place a water source on one side and a water source on the other side. And what that's going to do is give you an infinite supply of water here in the center. So I like to put down a trap door on, other, on either side just like that. So that way I don't accidentally scoop up that water. 
and as you can see we can fill up that bucket and fill up that bucket again and it uh it's a uh, infinite water supply once you've done that your next step is to come over here and on this front block you want to place down a single water source and then do the same on the other side grab two more buckets of water place one there on that side and then another one there on that side and what you should end up with is a nice flow of water all the way around it okay your next step is to pick a side it doesn't matter which side it is again and just remove the center block here and use your next um, trap door so that way you have access in and out of the uh, portal here and what you want to do is you want to come up and use your builder block and place a block in front of the torch there and then another one on top and now I like to build this up one more high just because we are level with the um, portal here so do that and then make a two long pit here and then build this sucker up and make yourself a little uh, trench where you can kind of trap yourself in okay so there's our trench where we can trap ourselves in and then make it too high okay once you are all trapped in here what you want to do is get your rails out and then place your minecart down and then get your ender pearls and just start throwing your ender pearls until you see an ender mite coming make sure you have your trap door at the ready here oh and we got an ender mite on the second try here now you want to name this guy and then quickly run over the minecart and as you can see it pushes him into the minecart here and then what you want to do is jump on the minecart again and push it back over the center so wherever the center of the um, portal here is that's where you want the endermite to be so you can remove that rail there and then you can remove all of these blocks here around it but don't remove the lower layer just yet next what you want to do is drop down here and remove all of these stairs here and then remove that block there Make sure everything is in check here yeah and then remove all of the blocks around the endermite here so i like to start with the corner ones first then remove the ones on the end and as you can see once you do that all of the endermen get attracted to it and start running in and now because the water sources are here what they are going to do is try to pathfind around to the easiest um, section to get to here so they're going to go around the water and then fall into the pit here which is why you want to have this wall too high make sure you close that gate so they have no access up to there or they can't teleport up there anyways and next all you want to do is just go down into your pit here and start bashing away And as you can see once you just stand down here this thing starts to fill back up on its own okay now let's talk about how and why this works so basically endermen will spot an endermite from within 64 blocks away so as you can see there are some endermen just kind of standing out and around here so for some efficiency things what you may want to do is grab your buckets of water put these items here away and we'll grab some builder blocks and our buckets here which I left in the chest and we'll grab our buckets what you want to do is fill all your buckets here full of water okay and once you have your buckets full of water what you want to do is come to the outskirts here where you see all of the endermen just kind of standing around and you want to build up about two blocks high and then pour your water source on top of that and then do that for a nice little perimeter all the way around now I think that's within the 64 block radius so you can move down a little bit and do this so place your block down come to where the water stops and come out a few blocks and then do it again 
them down to where your water stops and then do it again and then do this for a whole perimeter around the um, end island here okay now I've only placed about 10 water sources and as you can see these guys are starting to fill up in there run I got them attracted to me <laughs> Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and kill all these guys here. Okay, and like I said, I've only placed about five water sources around the entire thing in some of the farther away areas. And you can see this thing here stays pretty full of endermen. And as you can see, in just two... Um, Two goes at this. I am already at level 23. Let's see how many pearls we have. And we have a bunch of stacks of pearls already. Now, one of the reasons why you want to um, place a block down before you um, put your water sources down is if you put a piece of water here, or sorry, a source of water here by one of the edges, all it's going to do is basically flow down in a one, um, in like a one row pattern here. So what I like to do is always put a block down first and then your water source. And as you can see, you kind of get a four block spread and it covers more area. So that's only 24 water sources all the way around. And as you can see, our pit is starting to fill up. We have no more Endermen spawning in because of the cap here. And yep, this thing here is full. So we will kill these guys down again. And now one thing to keep in mind is that because the Endermen like to kind of spawn in a certain radius around you, if you just stand down here, the Endermen are going to spawn in a uh, close, pretty close radius anyways, within the 64 block radius. And, you know, as you can see, I've just been standing down here for a few seconds and we're already starting to get it full again. So, yeah, that is basically... Um, what you do, how you do it, and it works pretty well. As you can see, we've got quite a bit of pearls here already. We're already at level 26. And as you can see, more Endermen are getting attracted to it and running in. Now, another thing that you may want to do for efficiency is just remove all of this high ground here if you want to. It's not necessary, but I mean, it definitely does help. Okay, now I want these Endermen to spawn a little bit faster, so what I'm going to do is fill up some more buckets here, and I'm going to go around and just place about another 10 or 12 water sources, and uh, we'll see how well it works after we do that. What I like to do is try to find the areas where the Endermen are standing around in groups, so like that area there is where I'm going to put a water source down. So I'll place a block down here, water source, another block here, water source we'll go over here and place a water source just because i know that this is going to be an area where they spawn okay and the more you do this the more concentrated they are going to be towards the center of the um end island here and once they get within the 64 block range of the endermite you'll see that they just start to kind of run towards it and want to attack it and uh yeah you're good to go Okay, so that is it right there, you guys. That is my Enderman farm, my Enderman XP farm, my Enderman Pearl farm, whatever you want to call it. Okay, now I've placed even more water sources around this whole thing. And as you can see that this thing is getting so full that the Enderman will sometimes take um, cramming damage because it is so full. So let's just give this a go here and see what we get. Okay, and then we'll wait and see how fast it fills up. As you can see, it's filling up pretty quick. We are still collecting the XP and um, yeah, this farm isn't as efficient as the one that you build, you know, off and into the void, but it is still a pretty good XP farm. And um, yeah, if you don't want to use, you know, 18 blocks of or 18 stacks of leaves to build all the way out into the middle of nowhere, this is another alternative and uh, I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, and we've only been at this for about five minutes, not even, and look at these stacks of pearls that we have and we're already at 35 XP as well too. So stay humble, stay happy, and I'll uh, see you guys on the next video. Peace.